The world's first test tube burger has been unveiled. It's made of the cow cells, it's beef as we know it. Um, but we enhance the color with uh, red beet juice and some saffron. And there is some breadcrumbs and a binder in it, and that's pretty much it. The raw ingredients may sound unappetizing, half millimeter thick strips of pinkish yellow lab grown tissue. But after it was fried, there's quite some intense taste. It's close to meat, it's not that juicy, but um, uh, the consistency is perfect. Texture. The, the, the mouth feel has a, a, a feel like meat. The, mm -hmm. you know, what Hani was just saying, the absence is, I, I feel like the fat, you know, like it's, 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 it's a leanness to it. But, but the bite, you know, feels like, uh, you know, a conventional hamburger. It's not yet cheap or created easily. It has cost 250,000 pounds to make, and five years of research and production up until this day. The first tests were with mouse meat, then pork, and then beef. Professor Post reckons he can make a burger that is almost the same as one from a slaughtered animal. Those who back the idea point towards the rocketing global demand for meat, one stat being that by 2050, demand for meat will double. Backers also say this will help cut down on animal cruelty and just a few cells from a cow can be turned into 10 tonnes of meat. However, those against say not enough research has been done into any possible side effects, and this is an unnatural way of providing food. While others say we should be changing our eating habits to consume less red meat anyway. All this has got plenty of publicity so far, with the burger being labelled Frankenburger at its worst. Whatever it's called in the future, it could become a choice at the supermarket. A prediction is in 10 years' time.